Do you attempt to cut people off from their family or friends? Definitely not. I believe very strongly that there is no need to cut people off from anything that is currently attracted to their life because they have attracted these people into their life and they need to interact with them in order to work through specific things that they need to personally work through in order to grow in their own soul. What happens often though is people who come along to my seminars report to me that, that often their family start attacking them for coming along to my seminars. Now obviously if you as a family start attacking an individual in your family that individual is going to feel cut off from their family and that individual is probably not going to want to associate with people who attack them all the time so that individual will probably withdraw from the family. My suggestion is if a family member believes that I have somehow caused another one of their family to no longer speak to them, my suggestion is for that family member to examine their own personal behaviour towards the family member who's left them and work out what has been unloving in the interaction. That's what I would suggest to the person. Obviously, if somebody treats us badly, we're not going to want to spend time with them. And just because you define something as bad, it doesn't mean that the other person in your family defines it as bad. And just because you define something as good, it doesn't mean the other person in your family defines it as good. In addition, I feel quite strongly that every single person must have their free will honoured. In other words, every single person on this planet has the ability and should be given the freedom to make their own choice. And the only time that that should ever be um, restricted is when the person's choice is unloving and can be demonstrated to be unloving. Now many people when they start embracing any area of personal development and in particular when they start embracing personal development in love often change and this, this often causes members of their family or their friends to become concerned. But change is inevitable if somebody is going to grow and, and I believe we need to look quite strongly at why a person feels that they have to leave us in order to change. This is an indication that we are placing restrictions on them, not allowing them to change. So if I was a person who was concerned, what I would be doing is firstly looking at myself and going, is my treatment of my family member, friend who has left me, is, has my treatment been loving? Or have I been pushy and demanding and yelling and screaming and telling them they had to do what I'm suggesting and browbeating them all the time and manipulating them all the time and trying to get some cult expert in to, to, to fix them or whatever it is that I have been doing that's out of harmony with the free will of the individual. Because if you do those particular things, undoubtedly the other person is going to leave your life because they're not going to enjoy that attack. My suggestion is if you desire to attack a person in such a way, look at your own unloving emotions and your own fears because obviously your fears are causing you to act in an unloving manner and you need to adjust your actions.